Now at 5.30, saying goodbye to Stoddard. The owner of the downtown Crossing Gastro Pub says the pandemic just made it impossible to stay open. And it's not only about the COVID-19 restrictions inside the restaurant. He really laid out his case on social media and told WBZ's Rachel Holt it was like fighting a losing battle. Look, I think the, real, the reality is right now that most owners are probably a month or two away from shutting down. A candid look at the struggles many restaurant owners are facing as a decade-old gastro pub closes its doors for good. Ace Gershfield is the co-owner of Stoddard's Fine Food and Ale. He shared this thread online explaining why staying open simply wasn't an option. So I just wanted to speak up and I just wanted to let people know how hard and difficult of a time it is that this industry is going through, uh, the hospitality and entertainment industry. Nearly 80% of Stoddard's revenue came from nearby office workers and theater crowds, so coupled with the lack of outdoor space, there simply wasn't enough business. We have a bus, the Silver Line, running right by. There's no outdoor parking for us to set up outdoor spaces. And then once they finally opened up indoor, limited at 25% capacity, it makes no sense on a business level. I don't know, it just spiraled down. It just, it's over. It just came to a complete halt. <laughs> I don't have any words for that. It's just it's sad. The largest asset left, their liquor license, which Gershfield explains has depreciated greatly in value. Liquor licenses pre-pandemic we're probably averaging around 400 450,000 in value right now you know fair value or pandemic value is how i look at it 250 300 um, the problem is we would like to see the state possibly hold those licenses buy them back at fair market value or else we take such a big loss it, it hurts us even more while there's no hope left for stoddards they want to help other business owners dealing with similar problems you know i mean the state and the city has to help us out. I mean, they have to help us out with the licenses. They have to help us dealing with landlords. I, mean, I understand that landlords need to get paid and they have mortgages, but something has to be done. Um, or it's just it's going to be really trickled down to everybody. For WBZ News, I'm Rachel Holt.